Hey guys, it's Brian from Airhead Garage. And a couple of years back, I put out this video right here on how to repair your dead car battery for about five bucks worth of stuff. Did really well. You guys helped push it to over a million views. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, now's the time to hit that subscribe button and check it out. So I had a ton of comments of people going, Brian, that's just way too much work to handle my car battery. I came up with a better idea that's less time consuming, less involved, and still kind of gets the job done. And that's using this stuff here. There's a link down below where you can buy it yourself off Amazon and it's an affiliate link. So you will make me a nickel, but that doesn't matter. And look here, we got the battery back. So let me show you how to use this stuff to get your old car battery back up to snuff for a little bit longer until you can get yourself a new battery. So with that, Let's shut up and let's get to wrenching on this week's episode of Arrowhead Garage. So here's our battery. And as you can tell, it's, uh, it's got some leakiness everywhere. Let's take our voltmeter. Let's see where we're at currently. Positive, negative. It's showing 9.9 .9 volts, which we all know needs 12.5. 12.3 in there to get it. So we'll shut this off. Then here's a cool little battery tester. And again, if you want to get one of these for yourself, there's a link down below. So same principle. You just put that onto there, put that onto there, and it lights up automatically. You're going to select if you have a 6 volt, 12 volt, or 24 volt battery, obviously a 12 volt, hit OK. How many cranking amps? 500, 500. Hit OK. This is going to tell you if this battery is good or not based on the cranking amps. Ooh, 56 out of 500 available. And look, it says poor. Now, the date looks like 8 of 21. That's the old battery. So how are we going to fix this? Well, let's get into that. Don't be a doofus. Put some safety stuff on. Safety glasses and gloves before we keep going. Come on. I always feel like a doctor putting these on. Dr. Brian, Dr. Brian. You're one in the OR, Dr. Brian. Dr. Brian. Safety, people. Safety. All right. Get a flathead screwdriver. Now, if your battery is serviceable, it's going to have some caps on it. If you can't find any caps in this area here, it's sealed off. You can't use this video. Go. Just go to Costco and buy another battery. But if you do, take a screwdriver come in here and just pop off these caps. All right, now you want to look down inside. So what you're looking for, you want to see how much liquid is in there. If you can see the top of those plates, you don't have enough water. So let's get in really, really close. So here we go. Now, see where that is? See what the liquid level is? That needs to be a little bit higher. You can see these are all pretty low, except for that one. That one there is actually pretty good. So we need to fill up these five to almost the top, probably about a quarter inch from the top all the way across. So let's get to using our new battery restorer. First off, it's made in America. Hell yeah, America. Next thing we need to do, read the instructions, people. It says here, check the liquid, so uh, level it up, let it charge, uh, shake it for five minutes, and then charge it for 24 hours. So let's do this. Harbor Freight and Amazon sell these adorable little funnels. You're simply going to put one in there, take this, shake well before using. So shake it, shake it, shake it. And I'm in the mood for a vodka martini or a margarita or something okay i think we've shaken it very well oh i'm gonna take the cap off okay i want to take our battery restore and we just want to top off our battery so we'll start over here that looks about good let's just top it off oh it's blue kind of like washer fluid ok 
Okay. That took up about a third of this. About a third to fill up this battery. Let's put that top back on. For the instructions, you're supposed to put this caps back. And now we're going to shake it. And that says shake for five minutes. Um, I'm just going to shake it for a little bit. Definitely not five minutes, maybe 30 seconds. I'll come back and do it again. So we'll have a minute or two in between. Okay. I'll give it a couple minutes and I'll come back and I'll shake it again. Okay, shake number two. Okay, one more time. We'll take a break. We'll come back to this in a minute or two. Okay, it's been about a minute. We're going to come back and check this one more time for about 30 seconds. Okay, let's open this back up and see what it looks like. And look at your hands. See, this is why we wear gloves, people. Pop the top here. Those still look like they're pretty full. We'll try this side over here. Now these two here look like they went down a little. So let's just top those off real quick. Okay, all good. Now, I'm not going to shake this, but I do want to see if just by adding battery restore, just by adding battery restore, if it made a difference. Voltmeter. Check that out. Just by adding it, look at that. 11.82, what? Let's hook uh, this bad boy up. Same thing, 12 volt system, okay. 500 cranking amps. Thirty-five. So that didn't improve, but the voltage did, and we need this in order to crank over a car motor. So step number four, I guess five, whatever it is, is let this charge for twenty-four hours. So let's go get a charger. Let's hook it up. All right, just a standard battery charger. Of course, I bought it off of Amazon, and yes, there's a link down below. There's a link to everything you need down below. Let's go ahead and hook this up. Negative. Positive. I want to set this up and let's go into a repair mode. So now it's in repair mode over here and we're going to let it sit there for 24 hours. So uh, I think it's break time. Let's uh, come back to this. All right. It's been charging now for almost 24 hours, probably about that 19 hour mark. It's still going, but as you can see, it's almost that top bar. A little bit more to go. I just want to see where we're at with this. So let's go ahead and take this off. First thing we'll do is a voltmeter test. Positive and then negative. 13.2, hey, 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 uh, it's dropping, but obviously. All right, and then, let's try our uh, battery tester here. Okay, here we go. Let's say 12 volts, 500 cranking amps. And what does it tell us? 402. 
says it's good, not quite 100 amps or the 500 cranking amps we need, but I'll take 402 for right now. Let's uh, leave it charging for a little bit longer and let's see what happens. So back on the charger. And we'll give it another hour or two. All right, so it's been a few more hours and as you can see, it now, I thought it said full. So pulling, well shit. All right, so 24 hours, she's now showing full. We'll go ahead and disconnect this. And I just wanna take a sneak peek inside there and see how those cells are looking. Take a look real quick here. Oh, look, that water's up to the top there. That all looks good. And same there, all those are actually a little bit fuller than what they were. Let's hook this up. Let's see what it shows, 12 volt, 500, yep. And what's the cold cranking amps? 408, okay. So it's been 24 hours, we have 408 over here. Let's go put it back in the Honda and let's see if this uh, battery restore stuff will do the job. Let's go put it in the car. All right, let's get this battery installed. There we go. That is on the plus side. That is our brown side. Let's lock those down. All right, let's go ahead and we'll get these all down. Okay, nice and tight on that one. And nice and tight on that one. Let's see if she'll fire up. Okay, here comes the test. One, two, three. Fires right up. Yes. That is a win. Three. All right, well, we found out that a bottle of this used about a third to top off that car battery. And as you can tell by the testing, it holds true. Now, it does say on the instructions, it takes 10 days for it to fully take effect. So I think over the next three or four more days, I'm gonna make one more follow-up video that I'll post in a couple of weeks about how this is done after 10 full days and compare it with the numbers that we saw today. If you like this video, guys, hit that uh, like button. If you wanna subscribe, hit the subscribe button, follow along as we do other DIY projects. Any of the things that you see on the desk here that you wanna get for your garage, there's a link down below to get everything you need to restore your battery at home. And as you can see, it only takes a day. Add the liquid, charge it up, drive. Seems to be that simple. So with that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for another DIY hack on Airhead Garage.